They take care of our machines, irons, phones, and toasters. MP3s and TV screens, even roller coasters. Without them, clocks stop ticking. Without them, lights go out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. Nolix Q. Whoop! <laughs> Tom Thomas, you'll be late for school if you don't stop. School? <laughs> don't you worry. <laughs> What's he breaking this time? This time, nothing. He's solving a Rubik's Cube, Nolik. Whose cube is it? <laughs> the Rubik's Cube is the most popular puzzle game in the whole world. It was invented by Professor Rubik from Hungary. A cube has six sides on it. And on a Rubik's Cube, each of these sides has nine squares that are all the same color. You start by mixing up the colors. To solve a Rubik's Cube, you have to turn the pieces, and you keep turning and turning them until each side is one solid color again. For instance, red or yellow or light blue. Ha! That's nothing. Hey, Tom Thomas, how long have you been messing around with this cube already? It's been three whole days of turning. Three whole days? We could solve that puzzle in five minutes, now couldn't we, Simka? Oh, really? Then go right ahead. I'm off to school. Well, you ready to show Tom Thomas who's boss? <laughs> Just count me out. Hey, I thought you said Rubik's Cubes are easy to solve. I never said anything like that. This problem is all yours, Mr. Bragger. All right, I'll figure it out myself. Ugh. 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 Hey, Nolik, looks like you've got a problem. Oh, hi, Fire. Ugh. Now I'm good. Just solving this Rubik's Cube. Yeah? Can I do it with you? What, you can do it? Of course I can. How hard can it be? You'll see for yourself. Try getting all the red squares on one side. Piece of cake. Now hold it tight. Great, I'm with you. Ugh. Like that? Class. Uh, and what about this side? What? This side's gotta be all blue. Okay, let's go fix it. There, like you wanted. Now what happened to the red side? Huh? Simka was telling me that on each side there has to be one color. Oh, like Sim could be able to do this? Simka can do it all. Well, if Simka can, then I can too. Oh! Fire! You busted the cube! I didn't bust it, I took it apart. Now let's put it together. And not just any way, but the right way. Puzzles are toys, games, or problems that force you to use your mind in a clever and creative way. Take a labyrinth, for example. In a labyrinth, the challenge is to find the one way to get through a series of tangled corridors. Another fun puzzle is a jigsaw puzzle. Here, you need to put together a picture out of many little pieces. For this, you need to not only pay attention, but be patient. And there are all sorts of puzzles for the computer. One popular computer puzzle is Tetris. In Tetris, different shapes fall down the screen, and you have to think quickly to get them to line up into rows. And solving puzzles isn't only a great activity for people, it's good for fixies, too. That's right, puzzles are like exercises for our brain. There, all done. No, Lick, you better hurry, cause Tom Thomas is on his way home. Hi there, Simka. Just take a look at this, we did it. I can't believe it. How? Oh, it was a piece of cake. Simka, no, Lick, I'm back. Well, I'm out of here. Ciao, woohee! Wow, you really solved it. 
was Nolik. Nolik, you are cool. So how? You see, first you break it apart into all of the pieces, and then you put it all back huh? together. No! That's cheating. You gotta turn the cube, not take it apart. Now I'll solve this cube, honestly. I don't think you can. Why are you so sure? I glued it together. Uh, how come? So you'll stop straining your brain with it. Now the cube will always be the right way. But if it doesn't turn, it's not a Rubik's Cube. Well, yeah. Now it's a Nolix Cube, right? The gramophone. And that's a photograph of my mom when she was little. <laughs> she sure looked happy, didn't she? Because parents were all happy when they were children. But then they grow up and start getting all gloomy and as boring as can be. Oh, what's this, do you know? A song about a screw? It's total nonsense. Nonsense? It's about a screw, which means it's practically about fixies. Why don't we listen to it and find out? If it's good, we can all dance together. How do you listen to this thing? Like this? Why don't we try to use the player? We won't fit in there. Look, right here it says gramophone record. See? So we need to find a gramophone player. Find what? Let's go to Grandpus. Grandpus, we found a song about a screw we want to hear. <laughs> We're looking for a player for a gramophone record. Ah, I understand. What you need is a gramophone. A gramophone is an old appliance that was made for playing back sound that was recorded onto records. If you want to turn on a gramophone, you need to turn the handle to wind up its spring. The spring makes the record spin. Then a needle is placed on top of the record, and as it moves through the groove on the record, it shakes a little, which makes a diaphragm, a sort of mini drum skin, start to vibrate. The big horn of the gramophone then makes the sound louder, and we hear a voice or music. The most amazing thing is that a gramophone doesn't have an electric motor or any electronics. That's right, you don't need electricity for a gramophone to play back the sound that's recorded on a record. That's because a gramophone is an entirely mechanical wonder. If you want to know, there is a gramophone in the office of Tom Thomas's dad. It's on the desk. Great, let's go. <laughs> Thanks would be nice. I can't find the on button. There is no on button. You need to grab that handle and turn it. Now take that thing and put it down onto the record. Hmm, it's not playing. Look, there's no needle in there. And where can we get one from? We can make it. Do you have any nails around here? Is this good? That'll be great. Verda, are you ready? Totally. Better cover your eyes. Working, listen. A little screw went for a run, and now without this little part, everything just Cat falls glass. If you think a screw is nothing, take it out, but just beware. Everything will break without a with no little screws in there. The bulldozer was a strong one until there was a thud, and then the mighty giant fell straight into the mud. Five, four, three, two, one. A little. music playing. It's a gramophone record. Gramophone? I thought it was broken. We fixed this old... Uh, not we. I fixed this thing. Really? What a wonderful boy I've got. 
Other kids are breaking things and you fix them. What do you say we play that record once more? I used to love it so much when I was little. The Mighty Crane was working until there was a pop. And then the Mighty Giant gave out and lost its top. Five, four, three, two, one, a little screw. Thomas's mom really dances super. Yeah, she knows how to have a good time, even though she's a grown-up. The exercise machine. Nolik? I'm not here. You haven't seen me today at all. What's up with you? There's gonna be this race, and it starts really soon. It's the boys against the girls, their team against ours. And what? And what? I'm the smallest one on the team. And I'll let everyone down. That's why I'm hiding. Because I don't want my team to lose. You can't just give up. You can learn to run faster if you want. You think? Of course. That's what exercisers are for. You need a treadmill to get stronger. Class! And where can we get one? We'll make it ourselves. Exercise machines were invented so people could work out without going outside. For instance, a treadmill lets you walk or run for a very long time while moving in one place. A treadmill's main part is a conveyor belt that is driven around by an electric motor. Today's smart treadmills have the ability to measure your speed, the distance that you've run, your heart rate, and even the results of previous workouts. There, it's all done. Tideesh! It's time to start your first training session. How will I learn to run really fast? If you keep turning, it's so slowly. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, that's a little too fast. Oh, sorry about that. I got it. That's what you call training. Tom Thomas, so, what do you think? Maybe I trained enough? Not yet. You need to keep going. Oh, I can't do this any longer. Let's stop. Whew. No way. Turn the handle. Yeah. There are all sorts of exercise machines to help you improve your health. This one simulates skiing. It exercises your arms, legs, and heart. And this one you can row like a rowboat. And if pedaling's your thing, an exercise bike lets you get a great workout, no matter how bad the weather is outside. There are also weight training machines. These machines can help you build big, strong muscles and tone the shape of your body. However, you can still get great exercise without these bulky machines. There are plenty of much simpler devices that you can find room for in any house. Like a chin-up bar for doing pull-ups, a wall-mounted ladder or rope for climbing, or jump ropes, weights, hula hoops, or balls. The important thing is to just exercise. <laughs> okay, girls, <laughs> hold on to your hats. Oh, no, how scary. We'll show them who's gonna win. Right, Tula? I'm gonna do my best. Tula will definitely beat Nolik. We gotta step it up. It's time to get this race going. Runners, are you ready? I'm ready. ready. On your marks, everyone get set, go! are gonna win. Nolik will never catch up with Tula. Oh my gosh! Nolik! He appears to be gaining ground. God, look at him! He's looking for head! Go on, Nolik, go! You got it, buddy! Come on, buddy! Hey, look at him, he's flying! All of that work on the 
exercise machine really helped. Where are you going? The finish is there! Just not fair. It was a tie. And a very noble one. All right. You just wait for the next race. Nolik's gonna win it big time. Now it's time for you all to get up on that winner stand. <coughs> oh no. All the first places are taken. For you? We'll find one. 